Hi guys, it's the Power BI Guy and welcome to Introduction to DAX. Today I'm going to talk about variables. Now, it might be wrong for me to say that variables are an introductory topic. They're more intermediate because as soon as you move away from your basic measures, so your sums, counts, etc., as soon as you need to start to do anything slightly complex, variables will come into play. Now, they're very powerful in what they allow you to do. So let's go ahead and cover some of the theory of what they do, the syntax, and then some examples of actually using variables. Uh, and hopefully by the end of this video, you will understand what variables are and be able to start incorporating them into your reports. So without further ado. So what are variables? Essentially, variables are used to store the result of a DAX calculation um, within a, a measure. So let's say you have a calculation, uh, you can do that, perform it, and then store that result within the variable. Then later on in the calculation, you can call on that variable because it has the result of your previous calculation. And they're very powerful in the, what they allow you to do. It might be difficult to understand until we actually uh, create some variables. So stay, stick with me. Now it's worth knowing that multiple variables can be used in one measure. So you don't just have to have one calculation, you can store multiple results of different calculations and then later call them and play around with them how you need to for your end result. And the third thing, it's worth knowing that variables are not global. They only exist within the measure that they're written in. So separate to measures where you can call them in other measures, variables are very specific just to the measure that you're creating and they cannot be called outside of it. And just from a readability and performance standpoint, variables allow you to have um, multiple calculations in one measure and then you can, later, you can later go back and modify the variables and see um, the code a lot easier than having multiple measures. And sometimes it's just not feasible to have four separate measures for one calculation. You can have one measure with your variables and then adjusting them how you need to uh, for your end calculation that you need. So hopefully that helped build, build a bit of an understanding of what variables are. So let's go ahead and touch on the variable syntax and how do we actually write a variable. So the first thing that you have to do is write var. So this is declaring now, we're writing a variable and then you have to give the variable a name. So this would be related to your calculation or the result. So name this whatever you want. Now after you've written var variable, you would have your calculation. So this could be calculate, sum, count, etc. Whatever you're trying to do, this is your actual calculation. Now, once you've written your variable, you can have another calculation that you want to call, uh, write, another variable, but whatever you want to do, um, after that portion, you have the return statement. So we're saying return, and that variable has been stored, and then we can call that variable in another calculation because it's been stored in our, um, in our measure. So we have the vast that's to declare, we write the variable name, the calculation, we have the return portion, so that's once we've written our variables, we can then go ahead and do our calculations. Now, I'm going to leave it as that for now. There's a, the variables can get a lot more advanced, but let's leave it there for now and actually write our first variable and see what we mean by variables store the result of an expression. So I'm going to create a new measure and let's, let's just write our variable and store one in there and let's see what happens. So I'm going to call this, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's store this as variable one. So new measure, let's call this var one. And if we write var, and call this uh, variable one. And if we put one, enter our return, then call that variable. So we called it variable one. And then whenever we see this X, that means it's a variable that we've stored. If we enter that and bring that into a card, we can see the result of our variable. What do you think it's going to be? It's going to be one. As we can see that our variable uh, was one and then we stored it and then we returned the variable one, which was one. So let's add another variable. So var, let's call this variable two. Let's call this variable two and store two. Now, instead of just, um, we've, we've left it as variable one. So we're only calling back after the return variable one. So if I did variable one plus variable two, we're going to expect our answer to be three. So that is very basic and you can now start to see that variables allow you to store the result of a calculation. In this case, it's not really a calculation, we're just saying variables equals one, but we could store a calculation. So let's go ahead and actually do that with our next variable. So let's call this variable, to, uh, let's do total sales variable. So we have a column in our table called total sales, which has our sales, so let's call this total sales. So I'm going to write var total sales. And then if we did a calculation, sum of total sales column. 
and then return uh, and let's call our variable and now let's bring that into a card we're going to see the sum of our total cells now if I bring that into the card we have the first result so 8.47 billion now let's do something else so let's work out a percentage of our cells where the product category is Contoso and we're going to do this in one uh, measure without having to create multiple using variables. So what I'm going to do, let's in this variable, let's do calculate. Let me just go back. Calculate sum of total cells where product category, uh, product brand name equals Contoso. And then let's, let's close that. Now, what we can do, we can create another variable if you wanted to and do var. Uh, so we're going to call the first one var total cells contoso and then var total cells. So sum of total cells. Then after the return portion, we can do divide. You have to close that off. Divide. Uh, total cells contoso from total cells so we can see now we're referencing our variables and if we convert that to a percentage we can see without having to create two separate measures using variables we have now stored the result of two calculations so we stored the result of uh, where the total cells is contoso we have stored our total cells in general and now if we do divide the two we've worked out a percentage so that's an example of where a variable can be used um first of all it's easier to read the code because we can see total cells contoso we're working out contoso's total cells then our total cells is a sum and we haven't had to create two separate measures to work this calculation out we stored this in one so that's your first example where you might use a variable and hopefully this begins to build a picture of how variables can be used